how to do scalar bell feedback scan using hunt and kill preset. Step 1. Hardware. Firstly, we plug the scalar digitizer to the link cable port on the scalar transmitter. Then connect the link cable to the scalar digitizer and the other end to scalar receiver. Connect the 12 volt power adapter to the transmitter power port. Connect G1 Alt 1 to the BNC port of scalar digitizer. And G2 Alt 1 to the BNC port of Spooky 2 scalar transmitter. Make sure generator X is 1 meter away from Spooky 2 scalar transmitter and scalar field. Plug the power adapter into power source. The other end goes into the generator X. Then, connect USB cable to GX and the computer. Insert the USB end into the computer. And the square end into the side of generator X. Turn on the generator X. Fourthly, turn on Spooky2 Scaler and tune Spooky2 Scaler. Turn the tuning adjustment knob anti-clockwise until the tuning light beside the output coil is at maximum brightness. Tip. GX must not be in the scalar field because the case and electronics in GX are metal, which will distort the field. Please keep GX 1 meter away from Spooky2 scalar transmitter and 1 meter away from the scalar field. Launch the Spooky2 software. Please take a note for the corresponding port numbers for G1 and G2, which can be seen on the GX display. In this example, G1 is port 36 and G2 is port 37. 2. Select the Spooky2 Scalar Digitizer Hunt and Kill Slave preset. And then go to the Settings tab. In the Output Shadowing frame, set Output equals X. X means the port number for G1. Here, X is 36. 3. Go to the control tab, tick override generator and choose G2, port 37, to load the settings. 4. Go back to the presets tab, select the Spooky2 scalar digitizer hunt and kill master preset. Go to the control tab, tick override generator and choose G1, port 36, to load the preset. 5. Lie between the two scalar units and ask an assistant to click the scan button to start the bell feedback scan. G1 will start, but no frequencies will be produced. Instead, the amount of scalar energy being absorbed for each frequency by the body will be recorded. G2 will automatically start causing Spooky2 Scalar to transmit the generator frequencies. After the bell feedback scan, G2 will automatically run the heats. Once this has completed, the scan and run cycle will repeat until it's stopped or no more heats are detected. It is best to lie perfectly still and only have one person in the scalar field. This field extends outward, so ensure no living organism is nearby. Tips 1. 
it is important to make a note which port numbers correspond to G1 and G2 before running a bell feedback. 2. Spooky 2 Scaler Digitizer Hunt and Q Master Preset performs the recording. Spooky 2 Scaler Digitizer Hunt and Q Slave Preset supplies the frequencies for Spooky 2 Scaler modulation. 3. We suggest using G1 with Spooky 2 Scaler Digitizer Hunt and Q Master Preset.